Hey guys, this is my first tutorial on how to make sprites using a sprite for the first time. I recently got a sprite since last month, so I've been using it for like a past couple of days. So here's what I will do. Click new file and choose the size that you want to do. For this one, I've chosen 120 by 140 and make sure that it's transparent and you click OK. Here it is. We have the default palette, we have the index of the colors, and we have the tools set up just right here. And here's my overview on how you can actually create a custom sprite. So, where it says choose a random tool that you want to use. For example, I'll use the ellipse tool to just make the head, and I will just use the pencil tool to make the ears. And make sure pixel perfect is on if you want to have pixel perfect switched on. A perfect pixel art just like so so ctrl z to undo and you just draw simply draw two ears and just raise the unnecessary markings and and just draw the black dots for eyes or however you like so I'm going to draw mine with cartoon character like eyes. Some, something that looks like this. Now let's add some color. For instance, I'll be choosing purple for the main body and the head. Something that looks like this. And then I just add white for the eyes yellow for the nose and I'm going to give this character some blue eyes something looks like this and if you want to you can add details just like so And let's add some highlights and wow look at that and let's give it some more features such as whiskers and a tail There you have it. That's a funny looking character, doesn't it? Reminds you you have some kind of kitty cat or somewhere, right? This is how your sprite should actually look like, but you don't have to do it if you want to. So here it is. Mine features this purple cat character of mine that I've added tail and whiskers and purple ears and everything else is purple and it has a white belly. And I've also included a few frames in the animation like this. While it's still a work in progress, this should actually give yourself a potential. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video on how to use a sprite for custom sprites upon using Mugen. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Goodbye.